What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books with a, a new release. We're looking at Marble... Oh, well, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase that. It's a reprint of Marble Zombies, which we're all excited for. You saw that Michael Jackson dance? I did that. You know, I, I remembered. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. So this is a reprint of it, uh, and I'm pretty excited for it. You know, a lot of people have been wanting it, so now we get it. So let's take a look at it. Here we go. This is your standard one right here. This is the one with all of them together. There's a spine and the back. And here you go. This is the DM right there. Very cool. I like it. It's Spider-Man swinging. The back. And this, the back, the spine on the back. So together, spines. Got your standard. You got your DM. Let's take a look underneath. All right. And there you go, it's a nice little spread. Very cool. All right, so let's rip this one open and take a bite. See what's inside. <laughs> So let's go ahead and take a look at the book and Marble Zombies. Yeah, let's get into it. Ah, uh, yeah, let's rip open its guts and look inside. Oh. So this one has, uh, you know, it's been around for a while. Uh, it's been out of print as well, but it basically tells the story of a Marble um, Zombie Invasion. Now, it was supposed to be a one-off, but it became so popular that they had, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is, I think, Marvel Zombies. There's, there's, it got up to parts. I mean, it's been on everything. It was part of the Ultimate Universe. Uh, it infected the main universe. There was part with Deadpool. It infected all of them. Like, it just went one universe after another being part of it. And Doctor Doom, you see, whenever they, you know, eat uh, Galactus and they become, like, intergalactic or interdimensional um, travelers, so it's pretty crazy. Let me read you what it says on the back. Dead means undead when your favorite Marvel heroes become unstoppable flesh-eating monsters in this vicious volume of super-powered carnage. You'll devour page after page of blood-spattered spandex action as gore flies, guts spill, and good guys go gooey in a vast and vile tome we would only call the Marvel Somnibus. And then, of course, you saw all that it collects, so there's quite a bit. Definitely not for the faint of heart in the sense of there's a lot of gore, a lot of blood, a lot of death. You know, some of your favorite characters get killed. Uh, eaten, dismembered, disboweled, just straight up cut in half. This part I like because it's like the, the whole, um, you know, World War Hulk where he's coming like that from, a, you know, it's part of that, so that's really cool. Uh, and you see the beginnings of it, the effects of it, how it reverberates between a bunch of different universes, uh, how it almost infects our the main universe from Marvel, uh, and certain parts of it actually does. Very, very interesting. If you haven't read it, I would definitely recommend it. Now, uh, I was, you know, seeing some or chatting with some of the guys from uh, that are collectors of this and how they compare this to, you know, DC's uh, deceased uh, line, which is kind of like their their zombie uh, part as well so you know maybe you like this one better um you know this one was originally started originally written by uh, robert kirkman if you know from uh walking dead he actually wrote the first couple of or the first one of it and it took off from there and of course they got him during or they, they got him to do it during while he was still writing walking dead so that's actually pretty interesting but uh, yeah like you know howard the duck was part of it uh, there was a task force set to, like, you know, fight them specifically, uh, which is crazy. You know, there's a bunch of different powers. So if you read it, let me know what you think about it. Do you think, uh, I mean, it's entertaining, of course. It's zombies. Why would it not be? Uh, but did you enjoy, like, you know, some of the aspects? Like, we were talking earlier. I was talking with, with uh, a friend named Kevin. He was here. He was like, how, theoretically, how would they be able to fight a bite through, for example, Thor's uh, 
skin, like it's like almost invulnerable. How were they able to fight, uh, bite through that? And then wouldn't Wolverine's regenerative abilities just immediately kill the deceased? Same thing for the Hulk. His gamma-infused uh, DNA would just eradicate it. And there's even like parts where like the Phoenix uh, is a zombie. Wouldn't the Phoenix burn through any sort of, you know, uh, contagion or infection? So some of the reasons like a little obviously far-fetched. Uh, I wish they would be like, okay, you know, for example, you know, Wolverine can't get infected because they his regenerative ability would just heal it, uh, stuff like that. You know, somebody made out of element or like energy wouldn't be able to be bitten because, of course, they're, they're energy, so they wouldn't be able to get it. So that's, you know, something that I would, I would also like, I guess, like to see a more realistic one of it, but that's just me being nitpicky. You know, it's comic books. We got to, you know, suspense our belief or, you know, yeah, suspend the belief of the physics and then just enjoy it you know yeah there we go here's some of the extras which are some of the covers as you can see there the like different ones you can see it like the the original cover of how they got the the uh, idea from it of course jaws you got uh, the walk uh, now this one's from night of the living dead uh scarface this one is from pretty woman uh this one is from alien so very very cool uh, I know Deadpool had its own big thing about it with the with the uh, zombie head, so it's very cool seeing all these covers turned into zombie ones. Very nice, and the artists on this look really. They took the time to make it look really good, uh, so yeah, it looks really nice. I like it, zombie tales of the zombie. All right, so cut a little bit, a little bit of extras, guys. So there you go. This is Marble. Somnibus, let me know which one you're going to get. You got the standard here. You got the DM. Let me know which one you like better. Again, I like the standard, like all, all of them there. Very cool. So get this at Organic Prize Books, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.